What's going on, everybody? Welcome to episode 108 of Slightly Daily, the podcast. I got another Zoom episode with a with a new friend. We've been trying to get this in for some time now. We got it in. Yes, let's let's not waste any more time, sir. Please introduce yourself to really me and everybody else. Well, uh, I'm BBD Yella. You know the BBD stand for Big Boss Daddy. You know what I'm saying? And of course, I'm Yella, so you know that's what it is. Shit, I'm from <laughs> Pine Bluff, Arkansas. You know, Arkansas. I reside, yeah, I reside in uh Spokane, Washington now. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. So I man, Arkansas. That's a lot to unpack here. I don't know shit about Arkansas. I live in Tennessee. So we yeah, it's we close. close. Yeah, we're close. <laughs> so uh all right, boom. Let's talk about Arkansas, I guess. How long did you live there? Kinda like tell me what it was like, I guess, you know, growing oh, up there. Nah. Okay. I be 30 in November, Scorpio, you know, shout out to the Scorpios, you feel me? Uh, yeah, I, I lived there for 24 years. I moved up here in 2016. Mm. I've been in Spokane five years now. Okay. Uh, uh, Arkansas, man, you know, it's it's rough. Like, where yeah. I'm from, Pine Bluff, I'm, I'm from a smaller town than Pine Bluff, which is uh, Terry, Arkansas. We probably got 200 people, bro. Oh, my God. Yeah, 200 people, straight fields, dirt roads, you yeah. know, like – the nearest store a good two, <laughs> three miles, you know, and, and, and you ain't you barely got neighbors, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So it's it's just dirt roads, but I love it, you know, because mm-hmm. I can actually say I come from the mud. You feel yeah, me? for sure. I definitely relate to that because, I mean, I live around Nashville, and I, I live like 30 minutes from Nashville, and, you know, it gets crazy out here, too. There's, like, crazy back roads and shit. That's what I'm saying. Like, it, it gets yeah. it's pretty it gets pretty rural. Like, once you get away from the city, you're like, man, where the – I'm in the country. Like, I'm out here. <laughs> uh, so how, what brought you to Washington, I guess? Um, So my uncle and them used to try to get me here. I used to play ball. So they okay. used to try to get me here because they have one of the biggest basketball fests up here, that hoop fest. Oh. I don't know if you ever heard of, but every people from everywhere. And you know, we got a lot of diversity up here in Washington. Period. Like mm-hmm. there's a lot of Africans. I'm talking yeah. about man, every race, probably. Yeah. You know, Seattle, they very they very diverse, and I'm mm. about four hours away. Okay. So. Uh. Okay. So so shoot, let's talk about the uh, basketball thing. I'm a big sports guy i love sports half of half of my website is it's so it's entertainment news essentially but i I write about sports music movies video games all that stuff i love sports i grew up playing i grew up playing baseball all the way till i was 18 in high school uh i played a little basketball when i was like younger and stuff so what did you play like in high school or did you ever play in college or anything like that like from like seventh grade up mm-hmm. to like twelfth grade, which and and basketball, but football yeah. I played like from seventh to ninth. I really started focusing on myself once mm-hmm. I was became a sophomore. You know, oh, okay, well, yeah. Played a little bit as a freshman, but you know, you play a couple games, but they gonna sit you down. You got other people that yeah. you know that's better than you or whatever. Yeah, it- they got ranked seniors, whatever. So mm-hmm. yeah, I, I was doing that, but as a sophomore. I was, man, like, me and one of my other homeboys, like, we was just the best one. So, we played with the varsity team. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, fo- we, football or basketball? Basketball. 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 Okay, okay. Yeah. So, nice. you know, that, that was just my thing. You know, uh-huh. I, I love ball shit. I, yeah. Actually, my team from from my graduating year, which was 2010, uh, let me see. We were the first team in, like, 15 years or something like that to get to, like, the playoffs. You know, oh, I nice. Still, I remember my last game. We got <laughs> we got our ass whooped. Yeah. We won the 49. Oh, shit. I fouled out of everything. But Damn. I still remember that to this day. Yeah. yeah. Hey, well, at least you have those memories. I mean, like, it was that that, that small town you came from? Yeah. So, Terry. I mean, what was it called? Terry. T-A-R-R-Y. Oh. So, so like, Terry High School, man, it was just like you knew everyone in that town, and I'm sure everyone was at the games, too. Was it yeah, like so, that? So, my city is so small. Like mm-hmm. I said, bro, we had to commute. Like, so my school was, like, 10 to 15 miles away, which I went to Star City High School. Okay. That was my school. So, Terry was just my little place. And oh, then okay. And another town you pass through, which is Yorktown. Mm. And then after you pass through Yorktown, you in Star City. Mm. And Yorktown, okay. just as small as Terry, it's probably got 100, 200 people. Wow. That's it. That's crazy. That, like, because yeah. I, uh, I mean, the city I live in, we got probably 30, 30,000 or so. And it's like, 
it's yeah. big, you know. And then, but there's places like Nashville, you know, half a million people. Memphis, half a million, you know, million people. <laughs> this yeah, is we so. We got a lot of people here too. Mm-hmm. So, uh, shoot, man, that's cool. That's cool that like who, basketball and football and stuff was like a big part of your life. I feel like that's a a common denominator with a lot of like yeah. artists. You know, mm-hmm. you kind of like. You play football or basketball or baseball or track or anything growing up, and then like, I seen a lot of people transition to music. Why do you, you do? You, why do you think that is? I think it's because so you know a lot of people don't go pro. You can play yeah. football, basketball, and you ain't good. You know, yeah. what I'm saying? or you could be good, and you just in a place where you don't get seen. Yeah, you know. So then you have to just think about okay, what's next? I guess so. You said you're 29 now. All right, so yep. te- tell me kind of how old you were whenever you started, I guess, rapping or, like, when was the first time you freestyled with your friends in the car or, like, all that, you know, that kind of stuff. I don't know why I can't hear you now. I, I kind of I went a little muted a little bit. You went a little muted on me. Can, can you hear me now? I can hear you, you but can't. you're not as loud. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, that, that happened to you, too. Can you hear me good now? A little better? No, I still hear you the same, though. Huh. I don't know. Everything's plugged up. I know, and and shit, you good on my end too. Yeah, but I got good ears, so I guess we just gonna go with it. You, it sounds fine over here on the recording, so I, hopefully we're hey, good. Let's we do sh- it. I, we, I got good ears, so let's do it. Yeah, we should be good. Uh, I was just gonna ask, uh, kind of, how old were you whenever you started rapping? So, bro, I started off with a karaoke machine. I was like, I say about. 13, 14, mm-hmm. you know, me and my cousin, we started rapping on a karaoke machine. We was making cassette tapes, bro, <laughs> writing the little paper that comes in the cassette tape, writing our songs on there, recording them through a karaoke machine. One tape on one side, the other one, you know, you got to push the two buttons. To yeah. Record. Boom. We was in there. You feel Wow. Me? So I started off with that, you know, and then I kind of upgraded a little bit. I met this dude. He he became a homeboy. He moved across the street from me, uh-huh. and uh, we got to rapping and shit. We upgraded a little bit. Went to computer doing yeah. Adobe Audition, shit like that. So I've been rapping a little minute, you know, since yeah. I was like in the ninth grade, pretty much. Okay, cool. So like 15, 14, 15, something yeah. like that. Wow. So, uh, and it's crazy that that you started out by like actually recording stuff because you hear a lot of people they're like yeah i was rapping for a while but i didn't record for years and years you know what i'm saying yeah. some some people are just like yeah i you know i, I rapped when i was 13 but i never actually did, made a song until i was like 20 or whatever so that's kind of yeah. that's kind of cool man i made songs i'm talking about <laughs> i i just my homeboy the one i'm just telling you about he actually went to his house back home and got some of that old music sent to me. Some funny, <laughs> bro. It's crazy because you know yeah. I I could tell that I already had a little bit. You yeah. Know what I mean? So it just let me know that it was it was my time for this. Yeah. You, feel? you could tell the growth too. I'm sure. Just mm-hmm. quality, more confidence in the you know more confidence in your raps yeah. and stuff too. So sure. that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. So tell me, tell me like. What? How old were you? Or like, what song was it for you that you kind of turned the corner? You were like, okay, I got something here. Like, when 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 did that happen when, for you? Now or back then? Like, like early on, I guess the first time you were like, I'm kind of good at this shit, or I really like so, this. So, like I say, me and my me and my brother, we always rap together and shit like that. We just sitting around fucking off and shit, you mm-hmm. know, high, you know, and. Shit, he just like, bro, let's 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 get on the beat, you know. Yeah. So we pick a beat, you know what I'm saying? We start rapping, we made the hook right there. You feel me? I put the shit out on SoundCloud, which was like shit two and a half years ago, two years, and that shit just jumped. My fuck like that shit hard. Woo, yeah. woo, woo. And once I performed it and I ain't never did none of this shit, I ain't over I ain't been doing nothing, man. And the people who was jumping for that shit, it just it let me know like, yeah. Uh. I could do this shit if I really put my mind to it. You know? do, do you like performing? Is that like a thing that you like to do? Have you done like some shows? Like, cool. I feel like I I'm gonna grow. You know, mm. it's just I mean I'm new. I'm, yeah, I'm just doing what I know, what I seen. And I'm on. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm just doing my thing. You feel me? Like, but I feel I'm comfortable. I'm, yeah, like 
I always been comfortable in front of people. Like people don't, they, I don't never get no stage fright. I don't yeah, that. I'm, that's good. I can, I can go in the crowd. If <laughs> too, I'm gonna be on top of shit. Like yeah, yeah, I'm just like that. Uh, whether were let me let's re, let's uh retract a little bit. Were there any people like in your city or like around Arkansas that you were kind of like looking up to, like in as as far as music specifically? No, not not. When I started rapping back mm. then, it was more like Lil Wayne. Yeah. Like, I just love Lil Wayne because he just, his metaphors, his similes, yeah. he just... Super he, he clever. Just, everything he do, he, he just, it's crazy. It's going to make you think. And that, that's how I try to rap, to make you think. It, it might be some crazy ass shit that I done said, but you like, damn, that shit really go together. You mm. know what I'm saying? So, yeah, like that. But, like, now... Arkansas jumping like yeah. shit. Since I've been gone, they jumping. They got Bankroll Freddie. He the first artist to get signed out of Arkansas. Ooh. Then he signed his homeboy. You know oh, okay. Saying? Like so, that's, that's dope, cool. You know, and then uh, uh, a real slept on artist is like uh, Young Quiz. Like, like he really was doing the shit before Bankroll got signed. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But like. They just, you know how it is, you know what I'm saying? Politics. Shit. Some people, they get picked and some don't. Mm. But shit, I feel like he didn't really slow up on the rap. He don't really rap now. He more on some business shit, you know. Mm. But, like, shout out Young Quiz, though. Mm. And Bankroll. But, yeah, Ed Dolo, too. Yeah, you know what Hell I'm saying? Yeah. Like, they, they doing their thing for Arkansas. That's cool. Uh, tell me, so since moving out to Washington, kind of tell me how networking has been, I guess. Like, you know, have you met any cool people out there? Producers, Man, rappers? So, I done tried a lot of people, you know. Mm -hmm. I spent money here, there, mm -hmm. you know, see who I like the most. My dude, though, is uh, Leah Rowe. His name Taylor. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Leah Rowe. That's my boy. Like, Hell yeah. he didn't help me so much grow as an artist, and I still ain't as far as I'm going to be, but, like, him helping me and just you know what I'm saying, working with me, like giving me constructive criticism and stuff yeah, like that. That's like, so important it, to have somebody it really there. Helped. It's important yeah, to have yeah, somebody that's there. Really means something. Yeah. Hell yeah. Even even like, if it's like, yo, man, I think maybe we could we could make this sound a little better. It's like, oh, okay, you actually care about like the craft. Like you want me to get better, not like you're like putting me down. You know what I'm right. saying? Like if you're yep. if you're recording a song, and you're like, ah oh, man, I don't know about that take, or let's try a different beat or something. Yeah, sometimes I had them yeah. there, you know, yeah. just to like, yeah, bro, I think it it deserves a little bit more. Yeah, that's man, that's I, I, even though it sounds so, like some people are scared to be like, ah oh, man, he's he's hurting my feelings, like oh he don't like me, but really it's yeah. like it's really that he he's got love for you because he wants to see you do good. Right. You know, that's super important to have somebody around you like that. Yeah, and he and he he also my videographer, you know what I'm saying? So cool. So, you know, he he do his thing. We uh -huh. we put that shit together and everybody loved it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody mm -hmm. loved it. And like I say, they ain't gonna give me the credit, bro. But like I've been here five years mm -hmm. and I've been doing music here for two years. So the first three years I was here, I didn't hear nothing about no music scene. I ain't yeah. hear about nobody doing no rapping nothing. But bro, once I started rapping, I feel like I gave people the confidence to, you know, get out here and do your thing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? They have was doing it before. I give them credit for that. Can't, I ain't gonna take that away. They say they had a music scene. Mm. But until I felt like I started pushing some music again, people start just boom, 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 boom. For sure. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. feel the confidence. They ain't gonna get it to me. Of course, mm -hmm. I'm not from here. They ain't gonna give me that. Right. But I feel like I'm a pioneer for these last few years of bringing some music back to Spokane. You feel I like that. I, I, um, I'll tell you. I'll tell you this too. I'm glad you. Uh, I was gonna ask you next about your videos because your Instagram it looks amazing. It really I does. That, bro. Like the, I love. Look, this is the thing about artists and stuff. Cause like I'm, I'm tapped into just a bunch of like small artists. You know, hundred two hundred followers. You know, followers don't matter. You can still yeah. make some dope shit. But like a lot of these people, they don't have like music videos or like cool visuals, pictures. It's just like, uh, uh they'll. When they post a new song, it's just like, oh, here's a screenshot of the SoundCloud thing. Oh, new song. Yep. Like, we need to see, like, a photo shoot or, like, a video, like, a music video or, like, a snippet or something, you know? And I think what you got going on in your Instagram is, it looks awesome. I love that. Hey, yeah. Shout out Lil Rowe, bro. I'm telling cool. you, he, he, 
I let him do his thing. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like, we really on some business trying to build be, be my brand. You know Boom. what I'm saying? Because, like I say, it's all built off of, like, my brother. You know, I lost mm. my, my brother. He was 21. You know what I'm saying? I lost him three, three years ago. You feel mm. me? So, I just... Everything I do, I do for my brother because the day he got killed, he told me he would want me to rap again. Wow. You know? I just, I, I rap for myself. I don't really do it for mm-hmm. nobody else. You know, I just do what made me feel. Or if I like the beat, I'm I'm coming off on how I'm feeling. Like, it's it's all about in the moment. You know yeah, what I'm saying? For it sure. It satisfy nobody. You feel That's me? But dude. I know people going to relate. You feel me? I feel like a lot, what a lot of that has to do is your maturity too. Uh, like, being 29 you know you got kids who are 18 19 out here rapping and they're like oh i'm not getting the support that i need and they they might give up on it and but like you, gotta you push yeah it's, you gotta push like mm-hmm. that's the one thing i hate if i would have still been pushing when i was trying to rap mm-hmm. i probably would have already been in blue you feel me somebody been seen me. but now it's like I'm working hard yeah. in a short period of time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so. Let me ask you this. What do you want out of the brand BBD Yellow? Like, what do you want to be out of the rap game? I just, you know, I want to feed my family. You know, I want my family been torn apart a long time. Mm-hmm. You know, I would love to bring it back. And everybody eats, so it's not no hatred. Everybody has the chance to do something. And if you don't do it and and, and, and prosper off of what's given, that's your fault. Mm. Now everybody had a chance. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, you can't say that you didn't have your chance. I gave everybody a chance. You know what I'm saying? And if I get like that, I'm going to make sure I'm straight, of course, me and mine. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some shit where... I feel like everybody has a chance to prosper. If you don't, mm. you can't be mad at the next person. Don't be jealous at the next person. Don't mm. none of that. You feel me? You had your chance. So that's what that's what I really want. It's just to get, you know, I see everybody else doing crazy shit, getting paid off of it. Yeah. You know, I can tell my story or what I didn't seen or what I didn't what I didn't been through or you know what I didn't mm. witness. Like, you know, like rap is different, man. You gotta yeah. be versatile. You have, yeah. and, and like I say, most of the shit is like in the moment. Like you might be with a motherfucker, y'all might be sitting around and shit, some pop up on TV and they go or something. Like it's mm-hmm. crazy how yeah. shit happens, you know. I think the best music, no, I not even think. I know the best music is made whenever you're being genuine and you're you're telling the truth. Like you can only flex or like act for so long before people start right. to like catch on. Like it won't show through the music if you're not like. Like you said, telling a story, telling some stuff that you've seen or or your experiences and shit, shit you just saw on the TV. Like, oh, I'm about to make a, oh wow, I'm watching Sports Center highlights and Man, I saw, no, I saw, you know, I got a crazy story. <laughs> Go that ahead. Song Soldier Boy just did that. Uh, Rick and Morty or uh, she make it clap. She make it make clap. It clap. Okay, yeah. Look, I was telling my girl, right? I'm like, <laughs> bam. I got this beat this this week or a month before this damn song come out. I'm like, I got the beat, boom, <laughs> got the beat. My shit was uh, I make it Wilson, I think. Okay. It's so crazy. He came out with the. I'm like, bro, what if I <laughs> done that shit? You wow. feel me? I could have maybe went, bro. It was crazy. It was nuts, bro. I would, mm, I don't even, yeah. You feel me? Yeah, That's crazy. Like that, though. Some small ass shit like mm-hmm. that. Just she make a clap. That just yeah. went wild. <laughs> and and that goes that goes to show you too the the soldier boy the way he's branded himself is crazy like and he's a rapper but he's doing the twitch video game streams like he's yeah, like all kinds know, of stuff you gotta get money all different type mm-hmm. of ways it ain't just one way you know yeah. what i'm saying the rapping yeah it is what it is but you yeah. still gotta be doing your thing yeah. you feel me like it's, it's all type of ways YouTube, Twitch, mm-hmm. podcast. You yeah. Like, Inter- you can get that bread if you want to. It's all entertainment. Like, look at someone like Ice Cube or Tupac acting. Uh, Ice Cube was writing movies. Like, you know, right, like, right, right. crazy. And, and it's just, it, it all stems from rap. And I'm sure at one point, like we were saying, Tupac or Ice Cube was probably playing on their high school basketball team, too. You know, and then they were like, man, I just got to keep creating. I got to find another avenue yep. to, like, 
get in. <clears throat> and, and like I say, that is all just come from being in the struggle. You you want yeah. more. You always gonna want more. Like if you stay comfortable, shit. Mm -hmm. Like that's boring. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you this. So I looked on your Instagram too, and you had done another interview, right? Yeah. Tell me about that. Tell me about those guys or like that experience. Um, How'd you meet well, them? Well, what you talking about with the uh, A and R? Uh, is that what it was? Hold on. Uh, da, 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 da. let's see. It was on your page a little bit down. The Pulse. These guys. Oh, okay. So that is with uh Tyler the Masters. Okay. Shout out Tyler the Masters. Uh, <clears throat> right. He he's running for Sp uh, Spokane City Council. Oh, okay. You know, so yeah, you know, he just he a good friend. He just, you know, he genuinely was just wanting wanting to know. He he heard about us in the music scene, and he just wanted to know. And we were some of the names that popped up. So you know, and but he just he tries to reach out to everybody because he want to know more about the city. You mm, know, the people and I in feel it. Like he a good dude, so go vote for him. Yeah. Okay, cool. I I, that, I was like, oh, okay, because. Uh, Probably the majority of people I've had on here, this is like their first ever like time being on like something like this podcast interview or any kind of thing like this. I thought it was cool that like, you know, you got to sit down with like some real nice equipment, like in a, a room full of people. Bro, it, was a, it was a real nice yeah. studio. Too, it looks swear. cool as shit. Uh, tell me about the last song you put out. The last kind of thing that you just put out. And then, oh, we'll, so then, then, we'll, then we'll talk about the future. Much. It was just some fun shit, you know. Most of my music before was just, you know, my feelings and just how mm -hmm. I was feeling about my brother. I dropped the Long Live KB. I dropped the Long Live KB too. You know, just more yeah. about my brother and just, you know, letting my feelings out. Now mm -hmm. I'm just having a little fun, you know what I'm saying? So for sure. Uh, my last song I put out was Yellow. You feel? Me? Yeah, I it see. Was, it was it was named after me, you know. It was just, you know, having fun, just you know, catchy. Uh, catchy lyrics and shit mm -hmm. like that, you know, it's just cool, just like a chant, yellow, yellow, yeah, yellow. Who Some, hey, for? You something for the live for the shows, dude. Like, look, don't get me wrong, we want to hear J Cole rap at a concert, but sometimes we just want to, we want to, yeah, we yeah, want to just, wanna vibe, you yeah, know, turn up a little bit, yeah, shit, exactly. Um, where are you like recording at now? Like, do you have like a studio you tap into? You got your uh, own little so setup? I was recording <clears throat> at 4 a.m. studios. I've been recording there for a minute. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Uh, I I started fucking with uh some of my people. His brother that moved down. You know what I'm saying? And shit, man, him we didn't caught a good vibe and we didn't put some songs together. And I like his work. So shit, I don't know. I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna try to maybe go in between, but I don't know. You know. So you got so you got like some real good studios like in your area, yeah. like some good engineers yeah. and stuff. Right, right. That's cool, dude. That's cool. Do you have a setup at home or do you just kind of exclusively nah, do it to, there? But I'm like, man, fuck it. I just pay to do that. Hey, I yeah. Just focus on rapping. You feel me? Hell yeah. So let me ask you this: What do you do? What is like a normal day of Yella? Like, what do you do, man? Do you, do you man, play Xbox or like do you you? Yeah. Got, yeah, that's, that's that's your boy knowing a day. You feel me? Like I'm I'm on the PS4. PS4. You know, okay. I'm, I'm playing Call of Duty. That's that's what I be on. You feel me? I got everything though. GTA. Yeah. I've been playing a little Crash Bandicoot lately. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? I done went back old school. For is that is day. that on the PS4? Yeah. Okay. They actually got the trilogy. It's got three. Uh, all three got the Crash Bandicoot, Crash Two, and the uh, Ooh. War. Okay. See, I I got a Nintendo Switch. Uh, like. A couple months ago, and I bought this yeah. Mar. I got this Mario game. It's got like the '64, a GameCube Mario game, and then like a, a Wii game all in one. It's crazy. See, yeah, yeah. That's what I like, bro. <clears throat> I've been wanting to get me a Switch. I Ooh, got a they're old fun. school Nintendo. You feel Ooh, me? yeah. Like a Super Nintendo. Mm. I got Mario on that bitch. I got that. Yeah. I got a PlayStation One. And a PlayStation 4. Yeah. You feel me? So. See, I, I'm a nerd, so like I kind of like I don't have them all hooked up, but I got a PS3 too that I got NCAA yeah. football on. See, and see, yeah. I, like I'm, I'm a game man. Yeah. I be, I be playing video games. That's my thing. Cause I be chilling. I ain't no people person. You feel me? Okay. So I'm like, you know, what I'm, saying? I'm an introvert. I be chilling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I don't be. For sure. What I uh, really fuck with your vibe? The, 
just be around you like yeah for sure for sure um do you what kind of movies and stuff you watch man are you a movie watcher you know some people are like ah, i don't really watch tv i, I just... watch some movies like because my girl she be wanting to watch movies and shit all the time mm-hmm. so i watch movies and she like horror movies i fuck with any movies but i like action some shit like that mm-hmm. you know but uh i've been watching this tv show the shot like mm. I, I fuck with some of the TV shows, like The Shy and Snowfall. Man, I've like, been meaning to get into Snowfall. I haven't watched it yet. I heard it's amazing, bro. You missing out? Yeah, you missing out on The Shy too. You got to go watch The Shy too. Okay, I haven't I haven't heard of that one. I've heard of Snowfall because it's like it's like new, isn't it? Like they're yeah. still coming out with so seasons. Shy though, but it's oh new okay, one. it's on like it's third season, bro. But oh okay, from the front it's. Yeah. yeah, it's like telling like life in Chicago and just oh, everything okay. that go on. It's it's a good show. You wouldn't be disappointed. Boom, boom. Uh, okay, dude. So let's get let's get into the tail end of this thing. Ask or let me ask you this: What is coming next for you? For the we're halfway through the year. You know, shit. More than that, what's coming from you the last half of twenty twenty one? So lately, I've been trying to just do shows here locally. Because, like, you know, COVID shut me off. I yeah. was really just coming in, mm-hmm. and then, boom, COVID hit me. Yeah. You know, so I still been working through COVID. Yeah. I didn't work. I didn't, I didn't put out a video almost every month. Every month, I think this year, I almost were doing something. Yeah. You know, I've been doing shows here lately. That's you awesome. I trying to do that. I got a show on the 23rd at The Riff, you know, here in Spokane. Uh so I just been working on that, but I got a song coming out with my boy uh, FGK for Next Game Cliff. The dude just did the song with me uh, on Off the Porch. Cool. You feel me? We're going to do that. Uh, it's called Crash. It's coming soon. Uh, and I'm just really doing some videos. I got a video coming with my boy Tiny Legend Gl- to that Glock Knees. This out on all platforms. Uh, Crash is going to be coming out soon. Yeah, like so cool. yeah you know i'm still Coming. working all the yeah. time you so so even though covid shut all the shows and shit down you were like i'm about to just keep i'm about to just have a vault of music just keep recording Man, my music dude was like this so yeah you know what i'm saying we still shooting videos everybody yeah. else chilling we we out here boom shooting. boom boom so hey, i ain't like covid didn't stop shit though i feel the same because all right this time last year let's say whenever covid started last year I probably was on like episode thirty. I kept it pushing. I'm at one oh eight now. I kept even if oh, it was yeah. you bust. You know, like even if I was if it's I try and do at least once a week, but like there was some weeks where I do two, three even, like epi- of these episodes. Cause like, man, I'm trying to like I'm like you dude. I'm trying to like I, I don't know, man. I have no chill. I can't just relax. Like yeah, I yeah, you I, gotta you gotta get it you gotta keep it going. Uh last question for me. <laughs> How did you find my page exactly? Do you recall? Or was it just some random Instagram shit? Bro, I think somebody shared something. Because I can't remember. It, it had to be from like Seattle or something. Oh, you know what? I did interview a kid from Washington or Oregon. Oh, Washington. Uh, Youngin? At Youngin on Instagram? Was like I this. think. And they had Hold said on. something about somebody or some shit. And I clicked Young on it, and I'm like, shit, I, I'm just, you know me, like I say, bro, yeah. I'm trying to network on you for where you at, you know? Yeah, I shit, love even that. Even if we can't get, look, we made this shit happen. So yeah, we did. I just, like I say, I just be trying to network and get more people to, you know what I'm saying, follow me, or you never know what we can Boom. do, or me, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's just, That's exactly so. what I do, do this for, too. Awesome, dude. Uh, do you have anything you want to say, or do you have any questions before we hop off here, bro? I really appreciate your time. Oh, bro, I appreciate you, too. I just want to say, man, uh, y'all go follow, follow BBD Yeller. That's B-B-D-Y-E-L-L-A on everything. Shit, you can Google me. I'm, yeah. I'm there, you feel me, man? Go check me out because it won't be long, you feel me? Shit, uh, I just want to get a shout-out to God, you know what I'm saying, my family. You know, uh, hey, shout-out to you, bro, just for having me on. I appreciate that. And awesome. like I say, shit. Hey, I'm always down to come back. You know That's awesome, that? dude. I appreciate that, man. We definitely, n- n- next, whenever you get some more songs out and shit in a couple months, end of the year, bro, I'd love to have you back on again. For yeah, real. That's for sure. Kind of catch up. Just be like, all right, man, what, what's what been going on? Tell me about that, blah, blah, blah. Uh, good luck the rest of this year, bro. I hope the shows go. I hope you get better on stage. I hope you get better every day, man. I, want, I, I love 
I loved this. This was awesome. Hey, I appreciate you, bro. You have a good weekend, bro, okay? You too.